Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to another Horror Block unboxing. Uh, this one I am doing just got it today. This happens to be February's uh, Horror Block, so hopefully this was pretty good. I know the last couple blocks have been kind of meh, so I'm hoping this one will be good. So without further ado, let's open this block and see what we get. And the box just falls right apart. All right. Let's look at the other way. All right. Put the shirt to the side. First off, we have uh, something from Penny Dreadful. Looks like a brooch or something or a keychain with a little scorpion in it. Okay. Looks like a real scorpion. I don't know, but Penny but Dreadful. Oh, cool. We have a uh, pin from Amityville Horror. I know they did a Jaws pin last month. So now they got a cool Amityville House pin. So I don't know if they're going to start doing pins or not in every block, but hey, the pin's pretty cool. We have the Vault of the Macabre. It's like a, uh, looks like a small book. So it's not that very thick. Like a very quick little small read. I uh, need it's a bunch of short stories. I don't know. But we kind of need to read. Oh, we got a DVD. We have uh, The Silent Retreat. Don't know anything about this movie. So, oh, from Black Fawn Distribution. I know Black Fawn. They done, um, uh, let's see, I have... Horsehead from Black Fawn, which is a really good movie. I need to get The Door. That's another one I want to get. But I never heard anything about Silent Retreat, guys. So if you know anything about Silent Retreat, let me know. Sorry for the glare. But hey, cool DVD. You know me with DVDs. Uh, we have... Oh, that's the book. What is this? A little sticker that's ruining it. Oh, it's a bag. Okay. Nerd Block exclusive. And guess what? You gotta pull the sticker off and it ruins the... Because I'll have mildew on it. It's pretty stupid. And the bag is... Anvil Horror. Okay. I like the pin better. The bag is kind of... Flimsy, plastic like and of course I said the sticker stays right on it so you gotta get a some alcohol or something to peel that right off so that's kind of I don't know that's kind of dumb not a fan of that got the uh, Rue Morgue magazine so yeah can't wait to give that one a watch read watch I've seen so many DVDs movies and today's shirt of the day is I don't know what that is. It's like a gas mask thing. So I don't know. Maybe 28 days later or... I mean it's supposed to be my bloody Valentine. Yeah, hopefully that's kind of weird. Let's take a look in the book and see what it is. The shirt. Oh, it's The Purge. Okay. Meh. The Purge shirt. So I don't know what that was, but yeah, this tells you exactly what's in it now. They do a completely different set of the card that they used to. Now they do this book. And the book tells you about Horror Block, a little history of the anime though, which is kind of neat. Um, what's inside? Oh, this is, why did it say January's block? This is February's block. Uh, looks like some puzzles, cart stuff. But this is the one thing that I wish they did with, in the old block. It told you what to expect from what you're going to get in next month's block. This doesn't do it. It's kind of like, well, here you go. Enjoy. Hopefully the next block is better. But other than that, again, I wasn't really uh, impressed with this month's block. Again. Uh, the tote bag is kind of dumb. 
Uh, I do like the pin. The keychain with the scorpion. Uh, I don't know. The more the shirt's awesome. I know I love getting DVDs, so give that one a watch. The Vault McCor, okay. Give that a read. The shirt's kind of meh. Maybe I'll use like as a painting shirt or something. Just doesn't really scream fun to, to wear. I don't know. So again, this is February's block. This is not um, January's. So they're backwards in there. So I don't get it. But anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this month's block. Again, I'm, I'm not really impressed with it. It's kind of like some junk stuff. Again, this tote bag thing. I might put it in there. And then they put a sticker on it, and now I gotta peel the sticker off. It looks kind of stupid with the sticker on. See? I gotta get some like alcohol or something to wipe it down. But yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thanks very much. Peace.